Hello and welcome to the Investing Iguana, the channel where we help you grow your money like a boss. I'm your host, Iggy, and today we're going to talk about a topic that many Singaporeans are interested in, how to be a millionaire with CPF. Now, you might be thinking, CPF? Isn't that the boring thing that gets deducted from my salary every month? How can I become rich with that? Well, my friends, you're in for a surprise. CPF is actually one of the best tools you have to achieve financial freedom and retire comfortably. In fact, with some smart planning and discipline, you can even become a millionaire with CPF alone. But before we get into the details, let me give you a quick overview of what CPF is and how it works. CPF stands for Central Provident Fund, and it's a mandatory social security savings scheme funded by contributions from employers and employees. The CPF is a key pillar of Singapore's social security system and serves to meet our retirement, housing, and healthcare needs. There are four main accounts in your CPF, the Ordinary Account, OA, the Special Account, SA, the Medisave Account, MA, and the Retirement Account, RA. Each account has a different purpose and interest rate. The OA is mainly for housing, education, and investment purposes. The SA is for retirement savings and investment in retirement-related products. The MA is for hospitalization expenses and approved medical insurance. The RA is created when you turn 55 using savings from your OA and SA, and it provides you with monthly payouts when you reach your payout eligibility age. The interest rates for the OA, SA, MA, and RA are currently 2.5%, 4%, 4%, and 4% respectively. However, there is an extra 1% interest paid on the first $60,000 of your combined CPF balances with up to $20,000 from your OA. This means that you can earn up to 3.5% on your OA and up to 5% on your SA, MA, and RA. That's pretty impressive compared to most bank savings accounts or fixed deposits. So how can you use your CPF to become a millionaire? Well, there are two main strategies that you can adopt the conservative strategy, and the aggressive strategy. Let's take a look at each one. The conservative strategy is to simply let your CPF grow by itself without touching it or using it for anything else. This means that you don't use your OA for housing or education loans, you don't use your SA for investments, and you don't withdraw any money from your CPF accounts until you retire. You just let the magic of compound interest do its work. To illustrate this strategy, let's assume that you start working at age 25 with a monthly salary of $4,000. Your employer contributes 17% of your salary to your CPF, while you contribute 20%. This means that every month, you have $680 going into your OA, $480 going into your SA, and $400 going into your MA. Assuming that these contributions remain constant throughout your working life until age 65 and that the interest rates also remain unchanged, how much do you think you will have in your CPF accounts by then? Well, according to my calculations, you will have about $1.2 million in total. That's right, you will be a millionaire just by letting your CPF grow untouched for 40 years. Here's the breakdown, you will have about $392,000 in your OA, $556,000 in your SA, $253,000 in your MA, and $0 in your RA, because it hasn't been created yet. Of course, these numbers are not adjusted for inflation or changes in policies, but they give you a rough idea of how powerful compound interest is. Now, some of you might be thinking, that's great, but I don't want to wait until I'm 65 to enjoy my money. I want to use my CPF for other things like buying a house or investing in stocks. Well, that's where the aggressive strategy comes in. The aggressive strategy is to use your CPF to leverage on other assets that can potentially give you higher returns than the CPF interest rates. This means that you use your OA for housing loans or investments that can generate more than 2.5% returns per year. You also use your SA for investments that can generate more than 4% returns per year. And you top up your CPF accounts with cash whenever you can to enjoy tax relief and higher interest rates. To illustrate this strategy, let's assume that you start working at age 25 with a monthly salary of $4,000. Your employer contributes 17% of your salary to your CPF, while you contribute 20%. This means that every month, you have $680 going into your OA, $480 going into your SA, and $400 going into your MA. 
However, unlike the conservative strategy, you don't let your CPF grow by itself. Instead, you do the following things. You use your OA to buy a four-room HDB flat for $400,000 with a 25-year loan at 2.6% interest rate. You pay the 10% down payment of $40,000 with your OA savings and the rest with your monthly OA contributions. This means that every month, you have $1,520 deducted from your OA for your housing loan. You use your SA to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds that can generate an average return of 7% per year. You invest the full amount of your SA savings and contributions every year, minus the minimum sum required to be kept in your SA for retirement purposes. You top up your SA with $7,000 cash every year to enjoy tax relief and boost your retirement savings. You also top up your MA with $3,000 cash every year to enjoy tax relief and build up your healthcare savings. Assuming that these actions remain constant throughout your working life until age 65 and that the interest rates and returns also remain unchanged, how much do you think you will have in your CPF accounts by then? Well, according to my calculations, you will have about $2.7 million in total. That's more than double the amount you would have with the conservative strategy. Here's the breakdown. You will have about $24,000 in your OA because most of it went to pay off your housing loan, $1.5 million in your SA because of the higher returns from investments and top-ups, $253,000 in your MA because of the top-ups, and $940,000 in your RA because it was created using savings from your OA and SA. Again, these numbers are not adjusted for inflation or changes in policies, but they show you how much more you can achieve with some risk-taking and discipline. Of course, both strategies have their pros and cons. The conservative strategy is safer and simpler, but it also means that you have less flexibility and liquidity with your money. The aggressive strategy is riskier and more complicated, but it also means that you have more opportunities and choices with your money. Ultimately, it depends on your personal preferences and goals. Here are some additional tips. 1. Make sure you understand how CPF works. The CPF website has a lot of helpful information, including calculators that can help you estimate how much money you will have in your CPF accounts at retirement. 2. Make the maximum contribution to your CPF every month. This will help you reach your retirement savings goals faster. 3. Invest your CPF wisely. There are a variety of ways to invest your CPF, including through the CPF Investment Scheme, CPFIS, and the CPF Special Account, SA. Do your research and choose an investment strategy that is right for you. And 4. Be patient. It takes time to build wealth. Don't expect to become a millionaire overnight. Just keep saving and investing, and you will eventually reach your financial goals. But whichever strategy you choose, the key takeaway is this, CPF is not a boring thing that gets deducted from your salary every month. It's a powerful tool that can help you achieve financial freedom and become a millionaire. All you need to do is to understand how it works and use it wisely. And that's all for today's episode of The Investing Iguana. I hope you learned something new and useful from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what other topics you want me to cover in the future. I'm always open to suggestions and feedback. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on The Investing Iguana. Stay smart and stay green.